time. I promised you some fun here on WTOL 11 Your Day, and Sarah Neff joins us with ping pong balls. And I mean, you just arrived here, and this all looks so exciting. It is going so, to be. So uh, let's uh, let's kick it off here. What are we going to do? Okay. Well, um, this month at the Science Center, we are celebrating January. Yes. So we are talking about all things air related. So mm -hmm. today we're going to learn about air pressure a little bit. So um, I have some ping pong balls here, and you've maybe seen this classic experiment. I'm going to give you sure. a ping pong ball. So Thank if I turn you. on my hair dryer, you can actually put your ping pong ball on there. Oh yeah. It kind of floats around up there. I love it. Okay. Now, let's grab it. Okay. So what's <laughs> happening is that um, blast of air that's coming out of my dryer is actually kind of counterbalancing gravity pulling on the ping pong ball. So we can actually let it float up there for a while. Now, what we can do is constrict that airflow too. So if I give you this tube, see if you can kind of hold that over your ping pong ball. Okay. And watch what happens when you get just close enough. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, so as we constrict the airflow through that tube, it's actually accelerating our ping pong ball through the tube and it kind of shoots it off the top. Wow, cool. Okay. Yeah. And coming from the hairdryer, it's too, got to kind of be a column of air in that form exactly. as well. Exactly. Okay, so let's great. change a variable. I'm okay. going to give you a bigger <laughs> tube. Love okay, it. And we'll do the same experiment again. So go ahead and okay. put your tube on there. Okay. <laughs> That's great. Okay. It's like a and you can game. see that it actually accelerates it for a longer period of time, so it actually launches it higher when it comes out. Okay. Now, at the Imagination Station, you know that we don't like to do things this is too you know, small. on the yes. small scale. Right. So um, we thought that maybe we could create a bigger ping pong ball launcher. So now uh -huh. we're going to use a leaf blower as our source of air. <laughs> Okay, so we've got to make a comparison. How strong is this going to be in comparison to our hair dryer? Much stronger. Okay, <laughs> okay great. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to let you be in charge of a leaf blower so you can hold yeah. that. Okay. All right, and we're actually going to shoot kind of right over there where there's no one in danger zone. <laughs> okay. okay. So go ahead and turn that leaf blower on. <laughs> Okay. So they are shooting out at an incredible speed because right. what's happening is that airflow is coming through our tube. It's actually pulling that ping pong ball with it and accelerating it out the front. Excellent. Okay. Now I have also put together something for like a bit of rapid fire. We're locked and loaded okay. here. Because I thought that this would be cooler than what I'm doing, just shoving some <laughs> ping pong balls in there. Okay. I so, have to agree with you all here. All right. So let's okay. see. Go ahead, and you are going to pull the trigger, and mm -hmm. I'm going to release those with this one. Are you ready? So one, two, three. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Oh, no! So I should have brought you a helmet today. <laughs> But that's okay because this was kind of our prototype. Okay. Okay, and so sometimes those things happen. It's not a big deal. It's part of being an engineer. I love right? it. Okay. Okay. Now, this guy. <laughs> wow, are these going to fall on me now? <laughs> this is not. This is 100%. All Ready put to together, yeah. Okay, but okay. you know what? I think we need like a target, something to aim at. I agree, because that is a lot of ping pong balls, yeah. and we don't want those to go to waste. Okay, so what should we aim at? So I think Chris Vickers over there uh. is looking suited up and ready. <laughs> He's got a bucket and a face mask, so. He's lucky. Yeah. Any uh, any uh, disputes happening in the weather center here are going to come to fruition <laughs> right now. We're going to have to leave this here for you. <laughs> okay, so we're doing the same thing. We're going to have that rapid moving air shooting through our front column, and then we have kind of a gravity feed happening. So these okay. ping pong balls are going to fall down, and that air is going to pull them and then push them out toward Chris. Okay. Okay. Are so you going to help me aim this here? I can help you because this is pretty ginormous. Just watch okay, I know we're okay. all over the place. Okay, are you ready? Are you ready, Chris? I think he's as ready as he can be. Okay, okay here ready? We go. Yep. Three, two, one. <laughs> Chris, I was not aiming at the bucket, just so you know. <laughs> So we got two in the bucket. <laughs> Yay. Yay! Oh my gosh, incredible. So January <laughs> is happening for the month of January. Yeah. Lots of experiments like this and oh my gosh, such <laughs> We've fun made stuff a huge mess. 
<laughs> Better than the poinsettias very, that I knocked all over very last time. Cool. With the holiday, <laughs> thank you. With the holiday on Monday, you guys are open then as well. We are, yes. Very definitely. good. Sarah, thank you You're so very much. Welcome. How fun. The Imagination Station never disappoints us. <laughs> well, of course, it's still cold outside.